Hey guys, I cannot tell you how excited I am right now. I have got a special guest for this video that has never been on TV, but he is one heck of a fisherman and a guy that I look up to and have since I started crappie fishing. I'm super stoked to be right here. I'm just rolling into Emory, Texas, and we are going to Lake Fork tomorrow morning and I cannot wait. I can't tell you how excited I am to get out on this lake. It is a 100% check off lake for any crappie fisherman. And it's a great place to take the whole family. I love the feel of Emory as we're coming in right now. We got a couple pit stops to make. One of those is to stop in, see Miss Leah over at Economic Development and find out everything that we need to know about Lake Fork and the surrounding area right here. Miss Leah? How are you? How was your drive in? It was great. I love your town. I love all the shops, all the restaurants and such. This is actually the first time I ever got to see Texas in the daylight. I've drove through a couple of times, but I never got to actually stop and see everything. And it was pretty cool. As you know, we're a small town, but we're between two huge lakes. We've got Lake Fork, known for its bass. Lake Tawakany, known for its catfish. Well, we're about to change that. We're going to go really? after some crappie out there. Awesome. Let's do it. Thank you, ma'am. I spent most of my life chasing. Chasing success, chasing money, chasing respect. Truth is, nothing has brought me joy like being right here on the water. Rod in hand, hook on the line, chasing crappie. I am a crappie angler. These are our stories, and this is On the Hook. Guys, we are here at Lake Fork. I'm waiting on my guest to get here. I'm gonna see if I can get some of these fish warmed up right before we get going. Sue, -wee! Sue, -wee! Sue, -wee! man, that ain't how we do it down here. We catch donkeys. Hey, you and you got to you got to talk donkey. Listen, listen, real quick. It goes just like this. He. you I had a special guest for this week. Hook City's own fishing Ken right here with us, Kenneth Pierce. Listen, we got to get you to talking donkey talk. Donkey we talk. We are out here to catch these donkeys today. And I got a feeling out here on this lake, there's some donkeys ready for us. My name is Kenneth Pierce from Fort Worth, Texas, and I am a crappie fisherman. So guys, after uh, being furloughed from the railroad last July, we decided, me and my wife, to go ahead and take this thing full time. So with prayer, uh, we came out and we decided to do the YouTube Hook City TV full time and it's been a blessing and it's been a blast. Crappie fishing to me is part of our life, man. It is really what we love to do. Um, again, since a child, this is what we've been doing and uh, it's only natural that this is what I'm doing now uh, for a job, how I make my living, how I support my family. I love the way um, that the industry is going. Um, there's a lot of people getting into the sport, which I love the fact that people are getting into the outdoors, enjoying what God has created for us to enjoy. Um, the biggest thing that I like about it is the diversity and how that we're, we're able to all kind of come together at times um, under the realm of crappie fishing. So you like sitting on that side better? Yeah, this is actually where I sit and dad usually sits over there. Okay, awesome. Yeah, man. Yeah, I mean, either way will work. But if I'm running the trolling motor, especially I like this angle for whatever reason. I I'm like right-handed, but I'm left-footed. I'm trying to tell you, man, you, you, you and that hat. Me and that hat. <laughs> <laughs> kind of goes together. Man, everywhere I go, somebody drills me about the way I talk or the way I wear my hat. Right. It'll be one of the two. That's the beauty of it, man. That's kind of like what we were talking about earlier. You know, without, without crappie fishing, Will we be sitting here next to each other? No, I, I wouldn't you know even I mean? know you. Yeah, yeah, we wouldn't know each other. You know? Yeah, I wouldn't even know you. <clears throat> Amazing how God puts things together, man. LifeScope is the hottest tech to hit the crappie industry in a generation. And now you can have absolute independent control of your transducer with All Aboard Marine's all-scan electric mounting system. Scan with your transducer in one degree increments or use its hand control option. With just the flip of a switch, the hybrid control syncs with the movement of your trolling motor or lock it out and use our foot switch. You're in complete control with All Aboard Marine. To find out more, visit allaboardmarine.com.
Electronics aren't cheap, and that's why Cornfield Fishing Gear engineers quality mounting equipment that secures your investment and gives you peace of mind. Fish more and worry less with mounting equipment from Cornfield Fishing Gear. Cornfieldfishinggear.com. PTG Outdoors is family-owned and sells, installs, and services your favorite electronics, as well as all the tackle you want, too. We even service kayaks. Next time you're at Grenada Lake, stop by or find us at ProTeamGuides.com. On the Hook is presented by Ozark Rods, in partnership with All Aboard Marine, Cornfield Fishing, Crappie Monster, Driftmaster, and JB's Fish Sauce. Make your meat, Jeremy. Four speed. Here it comes. Four speed. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes, baby. Get it in here. Here today. Let's go. Let's go, baby. I'm going to steal your line. There you go. Let's go, baby. That's man, what we got oh, man. Day. First fish of the day, guys. That's how you start your morning, right? That is, a, he was hugged under that stump. That's just classic crappie fishing, man. They love that cover, love that structure. And the, and the sun even, isn't even up yet. We actually, guys, we uh, slid in a little bit closer to the bank because a lot of times early in the morning, these fish will go up shallow and feed. And that's why we're over here instead of in the center of the channel. When the sun gets up, they'll end up sliding out more. So right now we're gonna concentrate on the more shallow. We're in, man, that dude was not Choked. coming loose. Choked it. That's breakfast, man. That's breakfast. <laughs> That's breakfast right there. He wanted there. it. He wanted it. Good deal. Jeremy, I think I found us a cocoon. A cocoon. I found oh, a my stinging, night. stinging wasps up here. Oh man, they they swarming like a bunch of wasps. Yeah, there's some stinging wasps in there. They're down in it too. There might be a bunch of babies. Oh, I saw one giant down I, in there. I saw a good one too. Got one coming up. Come on, eat. I don't know. We we'll call those puppy dogs. Puppy dogs. Puppy, you know what? Hush a, puppies. You know what a good puppy will do? He'll follow you, but he'll never bite you. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> That's a puppy right there, man. We ain't looking for puppies. We're looking for donkeys. Well, guys, it is always an awesome time down here with Kenneth Pierce. Uh, first time I ever got in a boat with him. Man, you never know what this cat's gonna come off with. <laughs> you talk about a good time now. We've had a north and a south kind of debate going, whether we're hog calling or whether we're donkey calling. It took him a little bit to get his donkey call out this morning. Uh, that, that old Sue E was putting it on him, but he called up real quick and done it with a bang. But he did not chase at all. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Hold up, wait a minute. <laughs> Fishing Ken is in it. Fishing Ken is in it. Now look, he ain't, he ain't a big one, but he'll. He'll start my motor. That's how you start your motor right there. Real cute. Yes, sir. Real cute little little black crappie. Got you a little nugget. A little nugget. A little nugget. Gotta start somewhere. Hush puppy. Boy, I'm talking about he put listen. I guarantee you one thing, he wanted it. I got you here. Okay. Get out of there. He wanted it. Little baby baby. I bet you that's all this in there. Yeah, it looked like a whole bunch whole, of blackfish. Whole bunch of that. Lake Fork is one of those lakes that once you've been there, you're gonna go back. It has got giant fish. It's got timber everywhere. It's got coves to get out of the wind no matter what direction it's coming from. It's just one of those lakes that make memories that you'll always wanna go back to. I know I haven't even left, and I still want to go back. Oh, it might not be Maybe a, fish. a little bit more to the left. It might not be a fish here. But so it might be a decoy. Yeah, that's a decoy. That's a decoy. <laughs> that's a decoy. <laughs> These fish have been putting out decoys with the advancements of live scope. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, I sit there and fish for an egg sack for about 30 minutes. Oh, man, I'm trying to tell you, man. 
That's one thing about, about live scope. I, I hope people learn to fish without it first. Yes, they um, need to. That <clears> way when you don't. When you don't have it, or, you know, everything shouldn't be, oh my God, I can't see my jig, I guess I can't fish no more. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, man, I can count down, you know, my seconds. I should be falling, you know, maybe a foot a second, especially with all the weight that I have on here. I have a, I have a good friend that I, uh, he's been teaching me how to hunt, and I've been teaching him how to fish. There you go. And, uh, man, th the biggest thing for me is, man, I do not want you to rely on this live scope. What are you going to do when you're bank fishing? Exactly. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's funny too, man, with this live scope, it's about angles. You can look at a stump one time. I look at everything two, three times. Oh yeah, I tell people, uh, like when I'm guiding them, mm -hmm. to think of it as standing in your yard. Yes. You've got a five gallon bucket sitting behind the tree and yes. you've got a flashlight. Yep, trying to, mm -hmm. trying to see it. There'll be times that you won't be able to see it, but you know it's still there. Mm -hmm. Mama. See that thing, baby, come on. Sheesh. Oh, come go. on, man. I couldn't have put a hat on his head better than that. Here it comes. Here it comes, here it comes. Oh. Got him. Got him. And it feels so good. <laughs> it's like a massage every time they hit it. <laughs> drop, drop my back. That felt like a back massage. All that work to feel that jerk just in a... There it is, man. I love the color on these fish right now. Though. Yeah. Beautiful. day is unique on the water but pro built jigs has your back no matter your approach whether it's boat flipping long runs dock skipping or just for fun pro built jigs has the hookup for you The Hook is presented by Ozark Rods in partnership with Pro Built Jigs, PTG Outdoors, Skinny Water Marine, and Sore Mouth Tackle. Oh, yeah, right there. Nine there. foot. Nine foot. Nine foot. Yeah, he's a hammer right there. Oh, see him nice. Got it? Yeah. Yeah, you do a good one. Yeah, good one. Yes, oh, sir. Oh, oh my god. Land him. Land him. Do not come off her. Land him. Oh my goodness, look put at that again. Put down the landing gear. Put down the landing gear. Where <laughs> did that jig go? Listen. Oh man, that's why hey, you hey, come to Fort. You hear that? Hee-haw! <laughs> Let's go, baby! Let's go! I told you, man, it's gonna be some donkey talk today, man. I told you. Pow, baby. Let's go. So, man, I might never do my sue wee again. <laughs> that hee haw just has a crisp so, ring to it. Bam. Look at that fish, man. Look at that thing. What's that, about a 14 inch white crappie? Yeah, that's white crappie. Little belly starting to feed 14. up for the fall. Well, we'll find out how long he is. Yeah, well, listen. I got a golden rule back here. You got a golden rule. You got a golden rule. Check him out there. Check him. Uh oh, oh uh, calm down, baby. Take your, take your time. Take your time. You're going back. Oh, oh. What we got? 
14 7 8 Ooh! Ooh! Listen, you, you pushing 15, man. Bam! That's a crappie right there, y'all. Just so everybody knows, this is getting released. We're putting it back for pictures for social media. You gotta yes, get sir. that social media, you got, man. You gotta have a thumbnail. Yeah, you gotta have, you gotta a, thumbnail. have a thumbnail. That's the YouTube boy. That's the YouTube boy. <laughs> Say, do, I, do I get credit for putting you on that fish? Oh, yes, sir. Okay, listen. Yes, sir. I don't mind. I don't mind being Robin. That's what I'm talking about, That's man. what I'm talking about. There was about <clears throat> six of them in there. Yeah, listen. Did we pass it up, or is it, it still? It's a family reunion going on. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> They're having a family reunion in there. Man, that dude was light biter, too. Did he, did he nip? I mean, light, light. I had to raise up to see if he was there or Yeah, not. and then he loaded your rod up. Yeah. See, man, that, that kind of stuff, live scope don't teach you, man. No. And that's, that's what I'm saying, man. It's important to understand fishing. Yes. That's the thing everybody thinks. Uh, they put a live scope on there. Watch out, the fish just gonna jump in the boat. Yeah. No, that no, is sir. not it. And if you don't learn how to use this technology, it's just an expensive screen sitting on the front of your boat. All right, well, here's a great uh, example. I can hand you a handful of nails. Yes. But you can't put them in wood without that hammer. Without the hammer. This is a tool. Yes. I call. I like to call them creature comforts, man. It's like this, man. Look, I, I could have made it to Fork on the go-kart. It took me a little longer. I wouldn't have had AC. I wouldn't have had a radio. I wouldn't have had, you know, uh, front lights and all that kind of stuff so I can see in the dark, right? I yep. could have did it. But it's a whole lot more comfortable to jump in the Dodge Ram with a radio and padded seats and yeah. AC and, you know, it makes a difference. It makes a difference. It's not that I can't get the job done in a go-kart. It's a lot funner and a lot easier to do when I got some extra stuff. Yeah. I know it. If I could spot that jig one time, I'd be the happiest man. There I am. Okay. Mm. Mm. There you are. You're lined up with him. Mm, I know it. Reach! Come on out of there. Help me out. Come on, baby. He moving out. Sue wee! No, don't you do that. He's gonna make my fish run. <laughs> he don't wanna hear that. <laughs> he don't wanna hear that. Okay. Oh, he's facing towards us. Oh, stay there, stay there, stay there. Oh, I'm getting nervous. My God. Come on, baby. Eat. Free lunch. Free lunch. Mm. Yeah, just let her calm back just a little bit there. That's the fish I wanted to see. That's the bad part. Over your left just a little bit. Oh, get it! Mm. There we go! Mmm! Ah. Mm. That's how you know you got a good one when you say, mm, when you set that hook. <laughs> Make you grunt a little bit. Hold up, wait a minute. Fishing can is in it. Let's go, baby. Hey, you know what that was, don't you? What's that? Suey. No, it wasn't that suey, man. <laughs> Look, you notice he didn't bite when you did. I said, no, don't talk to him like that. Oh, man. Man, that's, listen, that's another 13. Yeah, that's a great fish. That's, that's a solid eating fish. Listen, at, at Hook City, we don't trophy fish. We grocery fish. That's right, we that grocery right shopping right now. That right there is a real good eating crappie. Did you want to save this one for later? Yeah, we might need to save that one for okay. pictures. Okay. I was just about to, I'll tell you what, man. One thing about fishing with these jigs, you want to have confidence in that jig. And that's for anybody that's learning to jig fish. You know, they're getting away from the minnows and you got to have confidence. I was starting to lose confidence in my natural color jig, but I tell you what, I caught me a pig. There you go, you got your one, there baby. There you go, let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Ooh, he followed. He wasn't sitting on that tree like that a second ago. Oh, 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 Kenny. Don't say it. Don't you say it. Oh, Don't you say it. Oh, oh, he... oh Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> it's donkey oh. time. It's donkey time, it's baby. Donkey it's donkey time. It is donkey time. Look at that oh, fish, man. Oh, man, look at that dude. I mean, they in the mud down there. That, is, that is what we call back home pond mud. Pond mud. I'll tell you what. 
You take your finger and smell that. It might not smell like mud. <laughs> well, I looked and it was up it was up in front of that. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. I hear a lot of people say they're they're in the mud, they're in the mud, but when you see it, the placement of the mud on their belly, right. it ain't mud. Might not be mud. Might not be mud. Now, that right there is up in front of his mud spot. There you go. <laughs> so that right there is mud. Shoot. Man, oh man. Yes, sir. Good looking fish. Good looking fish. Good looking fish. Strong fish, too. And here's the best part about it. Crappie fishing isn't just about eating them. Right. It's about the experience, and it's about getting people outdoors and teaching them this way of life. Exactly right. People don't understand, man, that, that this is, is, is a life uh, lesson. You know what I mean? It's, it, it it's is. a life experience. Because at the end of the day, if something goes wrong, I can come out here and get my family something to eat. That's exactly right. You know what right. I mean? It's, 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 it's survival. You know uh, what I mean? It is. And it's important. It's important to know these things. It's great to be on social media and understand how to use computers and all those kinds of things, but you also need to know how to come out here and take care of yourself. And take care of yourself. Exactly and see, right. that's the thing. I don't have to rely on the stock market. Exactly right. I don't have to rely on an uh, a unsure economy. Right. I can come eat. Live off the land. Live off the land. Uh, entertainment. I don't need electricity. Man, seriously. Well, I guess I do to charge my boat. But but, but do you really? If you can find them off the bank? Uh, yep. If push came to shove, if that's what you would go to. If push come to shove, that's what I you could find to. them off the bank. Exactly. There's all kinds of eater fish close enough, a casting distance from the bank. Exactly right. All, all them on them brush piles were eater fish. Exactly But right. we're making TV and people want to see the bigger fish, so that's what we try to give them. We're going to give them a donkey show. Let's go. If I catch a great big male during the spawn, mm -hmm. that dude is going by. He's got to. Well, we know during the spawn, he's protecting the bed. Yeah, and you know? if you take that big one off, he gets replaced by a smaller one. Take that one off, he gets replaced by a smaller one, and eventually you ain't got nothing protecting the fry. Yep. And you end up hurting your population by taking those great big males. Yep. Man, you have turned me on to something that can't be turned off right here. Come on, man. I'm going to have to come on back. Listen. You're welcome. Man, I appreciate you coming out yeah, here man. with me, buddy. Yeah, man, man, this has been awesome. It's been a, a great experience. And we ain't even got to fish any of the bridges yet. Right so we're going to have to come back and try this dude again. Listen, we haven't touched this lake. There yeah. is a lot of water, a lot of timber, a lot of brush piles, multiple bridges. I mean, fishing for days out here. Well, I'll tell you what, I do appreciate the invite, man. I appreciate the opportunity to come out here, man. And, Listen, it's been a blast. It has. It has been a blast. Guys, we appreciate y'all staying with us right here. Give it up for Fishing Ken of Hook City. Go check him out on YouTube. Hook City TV, baby. And be on the lookout next week as we go to another lake somewhere in the country. And I'm keeping some of it quiet because some of these lakes you've never heard of before. And they are legit crappie destinations. So make sure and get back here next week on the hook. Man, he's talking about all that diversity. I'm oh, standing back okay. here watching, and I just can't help but notice how flat that bill is. Man, up north, we gotta turn that dude down, but Hey, man, this thing is supposed to be flat just over the eyebrow so you can get some real good sunblock. All right, well. You ain't blocking no sun like that, man. Well, up north, our eyes are a little closer together, I guess. That Maybe that's what it is. <laughs> down south, we can see a little bit better, baby.